look at the niggas funny. Like, um, boy, quit saying that. I'm live now. You live? Hey, y'all. Right hello to the folks that might come in here, and hello to the folks that are in here, and just hello. First of all, first of all, you guys recognize these nails? You see them? You like my nails? I'm going to be making some uh, wax melts and possibly a couple of candles. I have to finish off these, cutting the wick and um, fixing the tops of them. This is a soft wax that I did with these candles. So what happens when you move the wick around, you kind of make that indentation in there. And I want them to be real nice and smooth. So I'm going to be cutting the wicks off of these. And this is going to be somebody's gift. It's going to be somebody's something. So, But what you're going to need to... Uh, you're going to need some wax. And these are flakes. Let me show you what it looks like. So these are wax flakes. You'll need some wax, a melting pot. I have two just in case I get in a swing of things and I may have to use this big one. So, but for right now, we're going to use this one. This is a scale. You're going to measure out your wax. And you're going to color your wax. You're going to need some color blocks. And that's what these are. Color blocks, color cubes, people call them different things, but they're color blocks. Or you can use some mica. And I have a few different colors in here, but I'll just show you what's in here. So it's a, oh, that's open. Let me see. Go ahead and show you. Okay, it's it's real powdery, and it, a little bit goes a very, very long way. If you can, it looks yellow on the screen, but it's really orange. I'm not sure how you can if you can see what I'm seeing, but you can use that mica colorant, but I don't think I'm going to use that. I think I'm just going to use the color blocks. So I'm going to use black, and I think I'm going to use orange. So the other thing you'll need is some scissors, maybe, to cut something. And, of course, you're going to need your molds for the wax melts. That's what I call them, wax melts. You might have heard wax tarts, wax mm -hmm. cubes. But it's all melted wax. Well, it's all wax that you put in your warmer. So I'm going to use these cool little molds right here. I'm going to use that one. See about doing something with that one. And just the regular because I always melt too much wax and have to put it extra somewhere. So those are the molds I'm going to be using. So... Let me turn on my scale. And I'm going to go, oh, you need this too. A thermometer of some sort. So you can check the temperature of your wax. Each wax that you use is going to have, ouch, little dog. Um, it's going to have instructions like a melting point. So you don't want to go past that melting point because you run the risk of like kind of burning or scorching your wax. So any type of thermometer would do. Um, I used to have a, you know, electric one, but. Just get you a thermometer. It will help you out. You don't ever want to go past the melting point. Once it gets where it's supposed to be, don't go past it. And then also check the fragrance because the fragrance has a melting point too. You don't want to burn off your fragrance once you put it in the um in the wax. Hold on just a second. Wait, no. Let me go ahead. Let's see. So, that's almost three and a half ounces. That's what I'm going to start with. Three and a half ounces. Don't sound like a lot. No, skip it. I'm going to go five. That might be too much, but I'm always doing two merch. Five. On the dot. 
So I got five ounces of wax in here. Let me see. Can you see it? That's a lot, huh? Look at it. All right. So now I got a pot. First of all, I got a um a little hot plate over here with a pot of boiling. Well, it's not boiling, but it's hot water. That's what's gonna melt this. They call that a double boiling method. Double boiling method. That's what I'm using. You can also use a, um, a crock pot. I do have a crock pot specifically for melting wax. Let me show that to you. Crock pot. Take the little thing out of here, put your wax in there. You actually can use this, put it on the scale, measure out your wax and let it melt slowly. And it'll stay warm while you're working so you won't have to worry about reheating it. So, but I'm not using it now. See, a little crock pot. I'm not using it. I'm not using it. So while we're melting that, I'm going to go ahead and clean these up. And how I'm going to fix the tops of the um the candles is I'm gonna use the heating tool. I'm gonna use a heating tool guys. Let me try to share this. <clears throat> share. Okay. So if you got a heating tool, you always, well, if you don't have one, you might have to use a blow dryer. When I first started, I had one, but I realized that didn't work good enough or fast enough for me. So, I got a heating tool. Embossing heating tool. You need a new basin? You use that, and that'll smooth over the tops of the candles. We're going to get to that in a minute. Made it to the top of the robot. The top of the robot. I've been trying to between the trees. A tree in the trees? What? Y'all gonna hear some noise in the background. That's my son on his game talking to his peeps. His friends. So. You might hear some dogs. You might hear some of everything. I don't know. But we are still melting this wax and it's going to smell delicious. I'm going to show y'all. I haven't chosen a fragrance yet. I got a whole bunch sitting up here. So I can see all this stuff over there. I can see everything. Nice. Okay. I do not like this. I usually would have me a smaller pot. There we go. Now I feel more secure. I'm going to move these out the way till we get ready for them. Oh, there it is. I have Zeneric, Zazarin. I have Zeneric, Zazarin, Nermon. You hear you? Zeneric, Yeah. Oh, Lord. You got like three devices recording? No, I got one, but this one picking you up pretty dang on good. That's my son in the background, y'all. That's my son in the background, y'all. I'm going to be watching you live stream. I'm trying to mute. There we go. You got to. All right, so. Can't sing on here either. 
because YT will get you. Um, what is happening? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They give you like three. Mm -hmm. He just going to be talking and yapping and yapping and yapping. Are you cutting your wick? You don't want it that long. Snip it. All right, I cut that one down. Might be a little short, but it'll be fine. It will be fine. Once I get them all cut, I'm gonna go ahead and and clean up the tops. Of somebody's gift. Let's go take them. Take them out of there. Let's put this bad baby up. Um, all right, now I'm going to fix the tops of these. Y'all see how lumpy? See how lumpy it is? Can you see it? You see how crazy this looking? You see it? It got little dips, but I don't want it. No dips. No dips at all. None of that. Again, y'all gonna hear my son in the background playing a video game, but I gotta do what I gotta do. So this might get a little noisy, so hang tight. Hang tight. Hey, Bunny, you came, girl. Thank you for coming in. Thanks. It's just us. <laughs> you and me. But anyway, I got to keep going. So, but I'm just going to smooth out the tops of these candles. And again, it's going to go back in this thing. So, I probably should mute this. Y'all want to hear the noise? Let's hear the noise. It's live. So this is going to heat up and sort of kind of melt the wax a little bit, just a little bit. You see it getting shiny. And you want to keep the heat into a moving. And then move it to the side. Mm 
do tell when it's beginning to melt, it'll get real shiny for you. And that's okay. Just don't keep it in one spot for too long. Because you kind of be melting off your fragrance. And I'm going to check on my other wax in just a second. And that's it. So I'm going to let those go ahead and so that I'm finished with those and they're going to sit up in here. I made those off camera some time ago. Um, now I'm going to check this wax. I need some more paper towel. You're going to need a lot of paper towel. I did not put down any wax paper or a drop cloth or nothing. But this works just fine. You just you mess it up. You just pick it up and you Throw it away. Easy peasy. So, I'm going to put these back in here. I don't know if I want to paint this little rack or not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If I do, it'll be black. So, while these are setting, I'm just going to move them out the way because I need some room. I need some shrooms. No, I don't. I need room. Uh, come on now. Okay, so I do. The wax melts are gonna be some little spiders, spider webs, some little skulls, and whatever's left is gonna go in here. They're gonna be black and orange. I already melted out the wax. The wax is melting in there. I already measured it out. I mean, so remember those flakes? They are now melted. And all right, it's about 180. That's the temperature in here. 180. So let's see what shall the fragrance be. Monkey farts. Monkey farts. I don't know if I have monkey farts. I, like, I should have probably pulled the dang fragrance out long before I started this. But I wasn't thinking about that. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm out of monkey farts. My son said monkey farts, y'all. Yeah. So, all right. It's not going to be a holiday scent, not a Halloween scent. I don't even know what a Halloween scent is. So, what I do now is... He trying to go outside. That's these are scratching the door. All right, so I'm gonna put this back on the scale. So I, Isis, girlfriend, don't be beating him up. Leave him alone. So I put the um, put the melted wax on my scale. So I'm just gonna put point five in there and it's going to be papaya dragon fruit that's going to be the scent of these wax melts and i'm going to stir this you should be using popsicle sticks or any type of wooden stick something that can hold the heat and won't melt and won't rupture or bust in your wax because that's not what you want and you want to use the maximum wax load for your wax melt. So when you go to melt them in your warmer, your burner, they're going to smell really, really good. This smells delicious. 
like a snack. So when I put that oil in there, it went down to like 160. What I'm going to do is just put it right back on here for a second and let it heat back up to 180. And I think I need to separate this because I would like, let me see, which ones? I'm going to do black. So I got the little snack cube. Not the snack cube, color cube, color block. It. It's black. So I'm about to turn that wax black. I'm just going to chip some off with these scissors. And you need this to mix up really, really, really good. And I should have did the color first. That's what I should have did, y'all. But blah, blah, blah. Let me show you. What it's looking like. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, can you see in there? It's turning black. Wait, there we go. So, still look kind of gray. I want to add some more. Yeah, I should have did this first. A lot of wax was melting because it would have been really, really incorporated in there. That's the whole point. You mix it good, it's definitely going to melt good. Y'all know this ring light is just hot than a stone so I feel like the sunshine I had earlier. And don't worry about if the fragrance burn off and you did it backwards like I just did. Just put some more in there. You can't hurt it. You can't hurt it. You just can't. So I'm letting that sit there. Um, I was just about to say, you want to look for a hot spot for that fish? Really? Who's in here? <laughs> All right, what you saying, buddy? Yeah, that's it's not a special dryer for candles, but it's it's a heating tool. You can use that for anything that you need to fix or um or um you know. Hey Rico, y'all tell some people that I am over in here. I see all my favorite people. They're live already. So, but I just figured I'm just gonna go ahead and do my thing. All I can do is my thing. I would be over in their lives, but I'm over here melting wax. So I would be. So, but yeah. All right. So let me get back to my plot. I have to come to the other computer so I can see see the comments. Because if I stick my face over in here, that ring light will blind me. All right, so I'm taking it out again. I really need my um. I really need them popsicle sticks. Ooh, look. All right, y'all don't got popsicle sticks. I got my stuff. Did y'all hear them hit the floor? I found them. I found them. See, you can use these. Love these bad boys. I like to use this for my temperature gauge, and it's still fine right now. What is it, Caesar? You just stir this like crazy. Some people say over stirring your wax will cause it to do, you know, bubbles and this and that. But if it's a wax melt, I don't mind bubbles. I haven't seen any though. Not in mine. You probably want to go out. I might have to. I might have to take a minute. So this is black. It's not real dark like I want it to be. Can you see it? Just a little bit. It's not as dark as I want it to be. I might have to do a, a second pour. And make it darker. Corner. 
it'll be two-toned if I do that, which is fine. And in between different colors and fragrances, you want to clean this out with alcohol. And I'll show you once I get to that point. I think I'm going to start with the... I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start with this one. And then I think I got to go take my dog out to potty. He wants to go pee pee. But I'm sure not going to turn this live off. So I'm going to check the temperature again. Checking the temperature. You want to get an accurate one. You got to keep the only thing about these aluminum fluid pouring pots is they cool off really, really fast. If you use a Pyrex glass um, measuring cup, stay hot for a long time. But it melts faster in here. And it's the opposite in the Pyrex glass. Just a FYI. All right. Temperature on this is like 150. And I'm going to pour. We want a black spider, don't we? Can y'all see me pouring this? Yeah, you can. All right, black spiders. Nope, I won't need to overpour on that one. And we got another spider. On the other part, oh, on the other ones, it's a spider web. So I guess I'm going to leave that white. You know, it's going to be kind of like opaque. And I'm going to leave it that way. It's going to leave it, darling. I am. Okay, so. All right, now I'm going to pour the skulls. Crap. And these things been in the box so long. I'm just swirling it around. And like I said, I have the other size, uh, the other shape mold for extra because I'm not doing all that because I need white, I need all white, and I need some orange. So I have some left over. I should have stayed at that three ounces that I was starting with, but I went up to five. So I'm going to take and pour the rest in this one. And then while it's still hot, while it's still hot, you want to take your paper towel and your alcohol. I usually have a spray bottle for this, but I don't right now. So I just poured it on there. And um just go in here. And this will take all the extra fragrance out from that other one. All the smell goes away. You're cleaning it for your next your next um batch. And if you smell it and you still smell the fragrance in there, just put a little more alcohol on there and keep it going. But it's cool. Go in there to keep it warm. Throw this away. I'm going to put these back in there. I am going to use another one for the, for the white. Because we want white spider webs, right? White spider webs. White spider webs. Oh, okay. Do another wax melt, maybe. Yeah, I am. Two tone wouldn't be bad. Black could look good with gray. Another layer of black or even lavender. Yes, I agree with you 100%. I do. Yep, so 
I'm going to do more. I got to melt more wax. So hang tight. Wait for that to be warm. Get this out the way. Uh oh. I almost broke something. Y'all yeah, need that. I need those. Alright, so I got my wax. I think I'm going to stick to three ounces, turn the scale back on. And this time, I'm going to put the colorant in with the wax so it can melt together. And it will be all incorporated with itself, with one another. Bam. Wait. Turn it off. Turn it on. You want to clear it out. And again, this is um, like flaked wax. You see it? Y'all see it? These are flakes of wax. All right, so. And again, y'all going to hear my son in the background. Giggling, talking. You're playing a video game. Is your YouTube channel? Huh? What's your YouTube channel? Reds, candles, etc. And you know the business name. Okay, I'll get my three ounces of wax in here. So, oh yeah. Hmm. I have to leave it white for these one, two, three, four spider webs. And then at the end of that, I'm going to add a different color on top of it to, you know, make some orange. Some orange somewhere. I might put orange on the back part of the spider web. But I got to use orange. I want to. So, bam. There we go. Let's melt that. And then we're going to put the thermometer in there to check the temperature. While these bad boys sit, and I'm gonna check on these candles over here. Let's see what they're doing, and the tops look just fine. Let me show y'all. Let me show you. All right. So earlier, yeah, waxing my nail, but that's okay. Earlier, um, I showed y'all how I cut the wig off because it was really long, and the tops are okay. It's still not totally solidified in the middle, but they will be. Y'all might be able to pick up that cough too all the way upstairs. Let me close that. The peeping timers are out there. Y'all be closing y'all blinds. Them peeping timers be a mother sucker, y'all. Yeah, my oh sons. Yeah, he in here playing video game. Hey Yvonne, thank you for coming. I thank everybody for stopping by, coming in, saying hello, saying hello to one another. Y'all can invite other people to come in here and see this magic happen. Once I get some more container wax, I'm going to sit on this camera. And I'm going to show y'all the different um, sizes and different wicks that you use per the diameter of your jar. That's going to be very, very important. Because if you use a wick that's too small, your wax is going to burn out the, um, the candle flame. If you put too much fragrance in your candle wax, it's going to start seeping out. People be like, make my candle stronger. Make it stronger. Okay, you want it stronger, but you're going to light your candle and it's not going to spark. So it's a lot of... It's a lot of stuff that goes into this candle. Wood. It's not just like, oh, make it strong. Some scents are just not strong at all. And then they start comparing you to the to the big names and stuff like that. I went through all of that when I first started this business years ago. But one day I might start selling again. One day. I don't know. One day. So let's see. I'm going to use another clean stick to stir it. It's not melted yet. 
it's not mail to get. So, stir it up. We just waiting on that, y'all, so we can move on to the next part. To the next part. So, what I can show you that I'll be working on is these little, how much did I pay for these? I think a dollar. This is going to be a candle. You see it? It's like an ice cream cone. It's like an ice cream cone. And I got two of them. So I have two. That's going to be ice cream cone candles. So that's what that's going to be. But let me show y'all these. How about a waffle cone candle? How about that? So... And I started on this one. This one's going to be multi. It's going to have three different fragrances in here. Three smells per layer, you know? So, waffle cone candle and the regular one that you saw. So, those are future projects. And if I do start back selling candles, I won't do any glass because the shipping on that is ridiculous for the customers. And it was ridiculous for me when I um, had specials that included free shipping and stuff like that. And, you know, glass weighs more than aluminum and all the other stuff. So I may use these if I start back selling candles. Just a little tin. And they come in different sizes, 4, 8, and 12 ounce. And it'll be cheaper to ship. And I probably will not be offering free shipping I probably won't. So, but there's a wick in there. Because I was going to make that candle tonight. So, there's that. This little thing. Um, I got this from the Goodwill. Um, a long time ago. Got it from the Goodwill. So... This might be somebody's Christmas gift once I make it into a candle, huh? And probably repaint this, make it shiny, something. I don't know. I'm just giving y'all some some insight on what I'm doing or plan on doing while I'm waiting on this wax to melt. All right. The wax is still cloudy, meaning and it's time to put this thermometer in there. We want the wax melted until it's nice and clear. But most important part to reach the temperature that it's supposed to be in order for you to do what needs to be done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it is very fragile. It is very fragile. Um... I think the first year I start selling and shipping, it seemed like the longer it took to get to its destination, the more candles came up broke and customers would call and be like, well, there's three broken and I don't know how much bubble wrap and paper and those little, little foam, the peanuts. Oh my goodness. It was driving me crazy. And then trying to refund them. They're like, no, I don't want a refund. Just send me a non-broken one. You know, they'll send the pictures and everything. But, you know, it was easier to just refund in the money, but they kind of like, I really wanted the candles. So, um, but yeah, it's all trial and error, but I do know that glass is heavy as all gets out. So if I start back selling, I will be using something that's lightweight, something you can't damage really. You know, maybe I might decorate the little tin cans or something. Um, I don't know, but, um. I really take my time with my candles. Sometimes I do custom orders and stuff. Well, I was. I'm not doing it now, I, but I may do it again. Um, I just like to take my time doing it. Oh. Right. The glassware, um, it's cheap to get it. It's just expensive to ship it. Like an example, like a 12-ounce candle will be... 15 bucks, right? 
So it'll cost you almost 15 bucks just to get the candle shipped to you. And and that's just crazy. That's just crazy, 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 crazy. It's expensive for glass. Now let's get over here and check this wax, y'all. Let's check it. Check it, check it, check it. This is just the start of what I'll be doing on this channel, y'all. I just figure I'd take y'all slow and easy as I ease my own self back in here. Let's see. Okay, you see the temperature on here? Let me show y'all. I don't know if you can see it. It's like about 180. 180, 190. If you can see that. You see it? So that's the temperature you want it to be when you add your fragrance. And we're going to put more papaya dragon fruit in here. Turn on the scale. And here we go. And we're going to put in 0.5. All right. 0.5. Let me get my little stick. And most people, I'll just tell you, like, if you're going to do this, make sure you stir. Stir, 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 stir. Some people will tell you stir up to two minutes. <laughs> stir up to two minutes. Me, sometimes making these melts, I don't. But in order for the wax and the fragrance oil you put in here, in order for it to bind to each other, you have to stir it. You really, really have to stir it. Otherwise, it's going to melt halfway. You got fragrance and you ain't going to have nothing. It's going to smell good and it's going to not smell good. And if you decide to start making candles or you go get you one of those candle making kits, um, they'll measure out the um, measure out the smell goods and everything for you. I should tell you how to do it. But to get the maximum, just always check the wax and see what the wax, um, how much fragrance they, they can hold. Because like I said earlier, the every wax is not created equal, meaning it will only hold so much. And some waxes can hold an overload. Like sometimes it's not a maximum as far as making candles and uh, these wax melts. Still staring, y'all. Still staring. And again, thank y'all for coming in. If you're able to share out the stream and tell them I'm in here. I'm over in here. Tell them I'm at the candle shop. Now, that might be good. That's good enough for me. Now, let's check the temperature. And you can pour at 150. I pour at 150. Some people pour at 140, 120, 130. And I don't really think it matters when you're doing wax melts. But for candles, temperature is everything. Temperature is everything, even including the temperature in your house or in your shop or whatever. Temperature is everything. Everything matters when you make a candle. This, okay, I want this to heat back up some more. That's just me personally, y'all. I walked over and it floated up and disappeared. Yes, bunny. Vampire bunny. I can't even say the first bunny. <laughs> Bunicula. It's like a bunny and Dracula together. Yeah, each, every wax holds it. You know, it got different characteristics. You got to figure it out. And it comes with instructions, though, to tell you. Let me see if I have a, 
a label. Nope. Like most websites and stuff where you'll order from online or in the store, you, you want to look and see if it's the wax you want to work with based on what you plan on doing. Like how much, what's the fragrance load of this wax? How much does it hold? And then you got to um, watch your melting points. You know? All right, so. All right. See, these little spiders not set yet, so this going to be a two-tone spider web because I might even, if I can get the orange yeah, to melt in here real good, um, yeah, I might end up making it a marble. After his book series. Oh, oh okay. That's well, that's that pretty good. Dang, on interesting. Remember doing her question so, we Remember those cubes? color cubes? That's orange. I remember that um, that one drill. I'm gonna take take it out of here, and I'm gonna take these scissors. I had cut off some black. So I don't want black in my orange. So you just clean that off. And I'm just mm -hmm. going to snip some right in here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's see. A little more. All right, clean your, your, um, clean your utensils, clean your tools in between each color and each fragrance and you ain't got to worry about nothing, you don't have to worry about nothing. So remember I said you want to make sure you stir, stir, stir when you put in your, put your scents in and you want to stir, stir, stir when you put your coloring in. They call it colorant, dye blocks, color cubes, um, mica, all those things will color your products. And soon I'll be making some body butter. I'll probably go live doing that too. It's going to be whipped body butter, all 100% natural. So you get to see me gloved up, masked up and everything. And I'll probably show my face on there, but y'all know who I am. So body butter will be... Maybe next, my next live, but I'm going to do an informational video on what I just did and be able to answer questions if anybody has any. All right, move this over the way, move that one over too. It's not as orange as I want it. Let me get over here and show y'all. See? It's orange. But it's not a deep enough of an orange, I think. My thing is deep, 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 deep. I like doing this. Mmm, that smells good. Oh, y'all need smell a vision. Smell a tube. Y'all need smell a tube. I'm telling you. It smells good. Smell a tube, smell a vision. So, the spider webs, they still. I wish I could show y'all this. Let me see if I could do it without. Maybe, maybe not. Well, you know what they should do, though? All right, look. Let me see. It's not totally yeah, imagine, set yet. But imagine also we'll fighting see it. that for a bigger version of that, like, you know, a huge, with some big shampoo. So I'm going to pour. Some, uh, oh, and the spiderweb. 
I'm gonna pour it as part of it, okay? Uh, maybe reflection of the metal makes it look lighter. Sometimes, yes, but you get your true color once it um once it solidifies. You get your true color. Well, thank you. So I'm just gonna pour this from a higher, so it'll penetrate what I already got in there. You pour it higher, it goes deeper. So to give it a marble. Boom. I want to see what that's going to look like. Boom. And I'm going to pour this one low and slow. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. I'm going to try to put a little bit on top of these little skulls. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So these just going to, they end up being gray. They are not black. Mm. I'm almost disappointed, but it's all right. That's because I didn't put it in with the legs. And then I was live, so I was nervous. Well, I'm live and I'm still nervous a little bit. Still nervous. Okay. And remember I said all the extras. I just pour over in here. And there's that. There is that. Let me let that stay warm for a minute because I'm going to clean that out. Gonna clean it out. And he's talking some kind of something. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what language that is. Gupala. Gupala. It's a fish. I, oh, well, I don't know him. Okay, so I see what everybody. Look, I didn't check the. Everybody is over. I know where they at. Oh, hey, she left. Look, okay. I want this to solidify. After this cool off, another fast way, let me tell you this. Um, if you want this to cool off, if you're close to your refrigerator or freezer, if you want this to cool off fast, you can put it in the freezer. But since my freezer way upstairs, I'm not going up there. We're going to do it uh, the natural way. I'm going to turn this off because once I show you guys this, I probably should. I probably should go on. And I'm going to show you how I clean out the little container again. So. What happened to the wood? Put that right there. I just had to get the water off the bottom. And we're going to grab our alcohol. Oh. Get it open. Oh, darn it. Okay. Thank you for staying in here. She my only friend. So oh my bad. Look, see that orange stuff? Just clean it all out. The alcohol takes away. All the fragrance and the color out so when you start your next project you don't have to clean but I always do just in case I might have missed the spot so there's that so you clean it with alcohol and then you have all these little nice little things to throw away and this is the other top part of the wick. If you got wick tabs and you have this much leftover wick from when you cut the candle, the candle wick, you can put your wick tab on here. You don't have to throw this away. And I'm not going to throw it away. It's going to be used as a candle. So I'm going to keep those. 
and I will clean up the tops of these if I need to with the heating tool. So, I don't know if I should stay on live until they are solidified and then show you, pop one out, show you how they look, or to just go ahead and um, let's go ahead and end it, and then I can edit it. Let me see. What you say? Just been on. Thank you. Well, no, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for staying. Thank you for interacting with me on here. Um, and you made soap before, but not candles. Soap making is so addicting. You, if I showed you my craft room and all this stuff that I have, candle making, soap making, all body products. Only thing I don't make is lotion. That's the only thing. I make bath bombs. I make body butter. Uh, I do the bath salt. Like the I do scrubs. sugar scrubs. <laughs> I do all of that. If I could show you, it's like I have a dang old warehouse in this room, in this closet, in the garage, it's everywhere. But soap making, if you made soap before, why, why don't you make it anymore? Or you just do it, you know, when you feel like it, when you have an urge. Why don't you do it regularly? <laughs> They have um, cold process soap making. I like cold process. I tried hot process before, and my soap didn't turn out right. It didn't turn out like I thought it should. Definitely not. You said, I think I hear one, so I caught the hard point instantly. Mm -hmm. And then I think once I, like I get done. Over here, I might awesome go live on um, has no mobs on, on Ms. Terrell Terrell. Just been busy with family work. Tell me about it. Yes. Family and work will, I mean, that's enough right there. That's like five or six jobs all in one. Family is five or six jobs per person and then work. So <laughs> I totally understand. I totally get that. I'm just starting to get back into my crafting. I yeah. still too. I got two sewing machines, and some of these days, one of them I haven't used in like uh, about six whole months, it like last year, December. Or a Vosco yes, or a I, I think you really should do it again. You can do you um like make your own recipes because I make my own recipes. Uh, just like in general, um, like if you just happen. To yeah, I make my own recipes and like I like, I like a scented soap for my own now. self. And I haven't bought soap I like the way he in a couple it. years. That's how much exactly. soap I made. So don't gotta go There's buy soap. Prime. And my soap is good soap. And nobody's breaking out from anything, you know. So I think you should you should do it again. You should do it more often. Can I fish on my key drive? Yes, you, you definitely, a good recipe, if you really like it and you just customize it to way, you know, to way you want to. It. And that would be a good thing now, Bunny, if you go ahead and start that and find you a little recipe and you done made this soap, you can put it on your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. People love that stuff. That's what they've been telling me and I'm just starting Too to do it. Right I'm just starting to do it. But I did put... Yeah. If you look back at one of my first videos, I didn't know what I was doing, but I was showing people what I was working with and stuff like that. Um, yes, you can definitely use candy molds. Let me see. I think two of the ones I'm using are candy molds. The um, the um, I think it's the skulls. Maybe both of them. I don't know. No, maybe they're not because I don't see the little popsicle stick thing. But anyway, I think they are because the plastic is harder, you know, and it's not all silicone like that pink flimsy one that I showed. It's not flimsy, but it's more flexible. The pink one is silicone. The other are plastic. Ooh, there it is. The candy molds, you get the best shapes, the best everything. Let me show you something. Wow, I'm looking at imagine. Let me show you something. On this shelf over here, this was my flyer. 
<laughs> Look, this was my flyer. Let me show you what it is. And that's not my phone number anymore. So if anybody calls, I don't know who they. That was one of my old flyers. Let me see. Is it two page, one page, or front and back? Mm -hmm. Front and back. That's before I changed the name to Reds Candles, etc. I started off as Reds Candle Scent. And I was putting all of this stuff on Facebook. And all those pictures is actual candles that I made. Yep. Yep, had a website, everything. I was doing pretty dang on good for um, five years. Five years. This is cool. I think I'm going to put it in a scrapbook. Yep. Wait, let me see if I could do, uh, <laughs> you know how people do be like, let me make a thumbnail. It was too. Look, but it was so. I got the booster. Let me make a thumbnail. I don't know if that worked, but you think it worked? Yep. So I'm keeping this one. Like I said, I did a lot of cleaning up today. I'm going to keep this because I haven't seen this in and Lord, I don't even know. I don't even know. But it's a keeper. The more I stare at this shelf, I want to pull stuff off it and open it. Let me see. Nope. I'm gonna put all this stuff back. Like, okay. It's gonna be like another. This is still really warm over here. And if I didn't pour that orange on there, I probably could have popped one of those out. But I think it's going to be like another 30 minutes or so before I'm able to pop it out. I have 66 viral. Bunny, I hope that's a good thumbnail because I'm going to try it once I let this go ahead and upload. I have to think, I think I have to go back into YouTube 80. Studio. To uh, edit the thumbnail because I don't know what it's gonna be. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let me see. Look, look I'm gonna type in here. I may go. I go. I may go live tonight. What time is it anyway? Seven. What do I mean for dinner? I ain't even ate. That's what happens. When you be making candles and playing around with this wax or anything crafty, you'll forget about food, family. You'll forget about the dog, the kids. You'll forget about everything unless they make noise. <laughs> then you realize they're still there. <laughs> Later. Okay. Okay, so... How long have I been in here? About 40 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. How many minutes? <laughs> Jalen, how long have I been in on this, on this live television? <laughs> I'm gonna have to take my little doggies outside. That's what I'm just getting. Huh? Do I see what? That's funny. He got my little dog looking crazy chasing a sock. One of his socks. Thanks for the stream. Like, oh, 52 minutes. Okay, then maybe that's good then, though, huh? Yeah, we always like playing with socks. Because this girl right here was all nervous. I'm a whole different ball game when I'm in everybody else's lab. I'll be talking all kinds of stuff and be cracking all kinds of jokes. I, when it comes down to me and my own lives, it's like, uh, I'll be stuck like Chuck and them. I'll be stuck like Chuck and be like, oh, I don't know what to talk about. My brain freeze. It's like, oh, uh, they're looking at me. They're talking to me. And then, like right now, I guess I probably should do this more often because you look like you're the only one in here. It's safe. Let me see. 
You're the only one in here. You are the true MVP. Nigga, by one, don't You me. are the true this MVP. Honey, yes, you are. Real ones? It says. Oh, thank you. You think I did, girl? Nervous as a hack. You can real. do it. I'm trying to do it, son. I'm trying. I have a true supporter in here. She says I did good, and she's been here the whole freaking time. Now, I would probably zone out and forget that I'm on live if I have something planned, like I'm going to make two batches of this, two batches of that, and I will just be in the making. It'll just be like I'm, I won't be able to, like, like talk to people in the stream because I'd be in the zone. If if it wasn't a, a no no to YouTube, I would have had music going and that's probably when I would have zoned out on y'all. <laughs> I would have zoned out because music and candle making is my thing. Well I appreciate you bunny for coming. I appreciate you for staying and you said I was doing she said perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'll probably go live on my own. You know, my other one. I don't know. I don't know, but I think I probably should focus on this one still. Because this is my thing that I like to do. This is, you know, it's so cool. And I know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. So. With music, you will need almost always get a strike to be careful. I know that's why I didn't use any. And um, they say that YouTube has this royalty-free, um, royalty-free, no copyright, something, something <laughs> that you can use that. But I'll be scared. I'll be scared of it. I'm scared that, that you know. I don't want to use nothing. I'm not trying to get like paid off of using nobody else's music, but you never know when you get to playing it and enjoying it. So I don't know. Maybe next time. I don't know. I just don't want no problems with these uh, YouTube people. I probably just do what I'm doing. Either y'all are here silence or you hear me laughing or you hear what's happening live in my background, like my son talking, playing video games, talking to his friends. Hear the dog barking, doorbell ringing, husband coughing. I don't know. You can just hear the live thing. Yeah, I might, I might look into it, but I'm, you know, it makes me nervous. It makes me nervous with the YouTube. You never know. They'll be like, well, I changed my mind. You can't use that music. What? That's what I would be saying. Like, what you say? I said. Whew. Did I did I reach the one hour mark yet? Cause I might be a little hungry. Bunny, are you still in here? Because I think I'm going to go ahead. Wait, let me see. Nope, that's still wet. I was going to try to show you. At least one of these bad boys in three minutes. Okay, in three minutes, we're gonna skedaddle. We're gonna get up out of here. Let's see. It's still warm. Usually, you know, it's a little cooler on the top. But if you put your hand under here, I can still feel the heat from it. So this is going to be like another 30, 45 minutes before it's, before I can do anything. Because if you take it out before, it's kind of like cornbread or cake. If it's not totally set and you go to flip it and turn it to get it out, it's going to stick to the bottom because it wasn't ready to come out. The good thing about putting it in the freezer first is once it's rock hard, you flip it over and they just fall out. Yay! It'll be an hour. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. 
you see this girl right here that's my little um right now she's wearing my apron <laughs> she's wearing my apron and my scarf but hey, she's supposed to wear the clothes that i be throwing huh All right, did I meet my quota? Hmm? How long does it stay I was streaming on there, Jalen? 71 minutes. 71 minutes. My son says 71 minutes, bunny. What? Made it to an hour and bunny stay with me. She was watching me pour my wax and make these things look creepy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> ah, you hear that song? You was in it, girl. Get it, bunny. You were there. She stayed a whole hour. I appreciate you. You're the real MVP. I can't wait till you start putting some content. Yes, you've been on here a whole hour. I hope you start putting content on your channel so I can be up all in your stuff. See, this is the stuff that people remember when they first start in something and people come and they stay with you when you first start out. People remember it. And I'm going to remember it. And I'm going to have to write your name over here off to the side on my MVP list. Like I put, what's his name? Fire. Fireline Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for staying. Thank you for coming. And oh my goodness, I'm going to go get something to eat first. I'm going to take my little doggies out. And I really appreciate you for coming. And I'm sad that I can't show you this, but it's not ready. So what I will do, I'll probably edit and add it in there in the end or something. If YouTube lets you do that or whatever, um, I'll put them in there at the finished. You know, I'll put a photo. I'll put a photo of it or I'll make a new video not alive i'll make a new video of what they look like and I'll, I'll be like just in case you missed it boom and i'll show like a picture it'll be a real quick one so um thank you bunny for coming i'm gonna go now and i appreciate you for coming and staying okay and you have a great night too and i'll see you next time okay bye bunny bye to all my little ghost watchers who don't say nothing in here <laughs> Okay, bye. Let me find this end button. Have a good night.